So tell us how you are feeling and how you want to proceed. So when I got my rank, I was happy that it's a good enough rank, but yes. not so good enough to get a uh, medicine, empty medicine seat in a central institute. So I will be taking up a uh, medicine seat using my neat rank in uh, my probably in my home home state. So okay. yeah, so let, I'll see how I take it from there. So correct. So of course, the point is always that never compromise on the branch. So yeah, you yeah. want to take medicine? Yes, you will do medicine. But uh, still, it's a good effort, and it it remains with you, right? So yeah. it, the effort matters, and the rank matters. Getting three-digit rank is a task in itself in INICT exam. So that is good. So at least for those other students who are, you know, still in the preparation phase, so you can share some tips with them that how you how they can prepare, because is it different for INICT from the NEET PG, and what was your different approach? Currently, it's not much at of a difference because given the last NEET PG was an really uh, an atypical paper, which resembled more of an NICT than a regular NEET PG exam. So, ultimately, the syllabus is all the same. I agree that NICT focuses on particular topics more, while NEET PG is more broad based in its approach. Yet, uh, day by day, that uh, this distinction of NICT and NEET PG is being bridged and it's I hope I think it's going to be all the same a few years down the line. Correct, correct. But there has been, you know, there always there was a start that you should expect more clinical questions, but it has not really translated as much as probably yeah, yeah. the student would like. The yeah, government's because... perspective was to encourage students to attend their postings, you know, do more clinical based work so that, you know, they have an upper hand in attempting these exams so do you think more clinical came or it was still more of theoretical and conceptual paper usually INICT is more inclined towards the first and second years the pre and paraclinicals however the questions which come from the final year and third year subjects are more clinical agreed they never are less but it's less theoretical and more clinical of the few number of questions that come from the uh, clinical subjects Correct. So, uh, a good clinical base always helps because it even helps you to solve, to go back, uh, take the um, usual logic in your exams and solve pretty clinical questions as well. Correct. So, you know, usually uh, for my perspective, I always tell students that you must first become a doctor and yeah. then the PG seat will follow. So do you agree with that policy and would you like your juniors to also understand that doing a good MBBS is a good foundation towards residency and future endeavors. Obviously, because uh, in the end, we are all doctors. We wanted to be doctors. That's why we took up NEET UG. We wanted to be a, uh, especially that's why we were pursuing uh, NEET and INI. So let's not forget that in the pursuit of a rank, a branch, and this and that, it's ultimately treating patients that kick when I make a correct diagnosis or I make a correct treatment that's that's uh, beyond anything that beyond any rank that can give that can uh, beyond any happiness that any rank can give me so it's very important to be a doctor and there is not much correlation between a good student and a doctor we have seen good students being not being good doctors and vice versa too so okay. that's very important to be a good clinician a good doctor first and then be a good student obviously uh, if someone is clear the need to which they are above average Correct. So since you have been with, uh, you know, DAMS for a long time with us, what are the resources that you utilized and how you would tell the students to, you know, juniors to use them more wisely so that they get the maximum out of it? I think the most high yielding resource is obviously the DAMS notes. They are crisp, not as humongous as other resources are. So it's revisable. Even in the last 10, 14 days before the exam, which is very important to do. Moreover, I really uh, loved taking those DAMS uh, GTs and obviously the CBTs because not many institutes organize CBTs. So I took every uh, every CBT that was organized in my city and I went there. That uh, feeling of taking an exam inside the center, when you hear other people there, 
there will be issues of the ac being too too warm or hot the mouse not working and also on the other side i manifested the clicking sound of the mouse before the exam the confident clicking of the sound uh, clicking of the mouse before the exam thinking that uh, this would happen in my real exam and ultimately yeah the exam went on pretty well so it helps match practice always helps correct so just not the preparation but that actual live feeling and that practicality of uh, doing the cbt helps you prepare for the real yeah, yeah. exam yes yes so in medicine what is your liking subject neurology cardiology what are your aspirations towards i haven't yet given a thought about it would love to explore all the branches and then make a kind of informed decision as to what i would like to pursue in the future lovely lovely so congratulations to you and your parents also thank who you, are the, you know contributors to your journey yeah i also like to thank because without my parents and my sister i don't think i would be here because the last one and a half years have been very difficult those people on when post one when everything all of a mess and they have provided me that emotional security that it's okay that i'm doing well my sister helped me out uh, a week before the exam when i was paranoid my hands were shaking and stuff and it's very important uh, to say anyone listening now i would like to uh, tell you to form a group of uh, group of individuals who trust in you because that's the most important part in most important part in this preparation phase yeah you will study and stuff because but even as a human protector for mental health needs of emotional needs that's pretty important and i was also happy to fortunate to have a great set of friends who have helped me through this journey and i would like to name some of them so uh, shushmita shikha orgo shahu oishi and sujata have helped me through this you know i'm really grateful that uh, they have stood by me during the difficult times yes no that's a very heartfelt thing because it's not just the preparation the whole journey and it is stressful there is a lot of high intensity pressure on you of not just performance but also those uh, you know technical issues and uh, governmental changes in dates yes all takes a toll so i'm glad that every everything came together for you yeah. and also that congratulations that you'll be able to pursue your dream branch and we'll meet on the other side as yeah. colleagues rather than teacher and student Thank so you. all the very best to you so you, i'll see you there yes yeah. I'll come Thank back you. to you. Bye.